BC land use planning and objectives. First of all, we'll be talking about background and objectives. Then we'll move on to amendments and evolutions. Then the main key points. And then the responsibilities. And moving on to challenges and concerns. And lastly, uh, recommendations. For the objective, um, the objective is to ensure that our current demand on and development of public lands is sustainable such that our short-term interests do not risk our future interests. There are some key sustainable development resources, one of which is manufactured capital which is mainly for production. Another one would be financial capital, which is for trading. Social capital provides programs benefiting the community. Human capital for providing productive work. And natural capital, which is for servicing human needs. So, for BC Physical Geography, it's about 950,000 kilometers squared with 14 ecological zones. BC has lots of mineral resources. When it comes to BC Social Demographics, BC has 4.5 million residents. <clears throat> Land use planning and objectives occurs at both a municipal for land within the municipality boundaries and provincial for land outside of the municipalities scale. Moving on to amendments and evolutions from the 90, 19, uh, from the 1960s. Planning was taken from a technocratic approach where experts took charge of decision making. From studies in the late 1980s and early 1990s, they showed the benefits of collaborative land use planning. As a result, the government set out to establish uh, LRMP plans for all of BC's um, crown land. This effort lasted 15 years until 2006 where the new direction strategy was legislated in. This, re this resulted in covering 85% of crown land by 26 LRMPs and further developed uh, within with um, 100 uh, SRMPs uh, with another 97 SRMPs underway. The new direction was created because of criticism of the collaborative planning model. It solves issues as a business case scenario. Moving on to the new direction, it was proposed to address the criticism against uh, collaborative land use planning. Originally, uh, strategic, strategic land use planning was used to resolve resources, uh, resource use conflicts. However, in the mid 2000s, new business drivers emerged to change management directions in older plans, including the following. <clears throat> Provide certainty to users of the land base. Government retains its role uh, as final decision maker. Land use planning as an evolving process, but occurring within the fiscal constraints of government. Land is being used to its highest, which includes assessing assessing uh, government to make land allocations uh, to support strategic priorities. K 
key stakeholders um, have a role in the development and implementation of land use plans. If ends, interests, and values uh, are incorporated into land use plans. A set of policies were put to support the needed outcomes of the new strategies proposed in the new direction. Um, one of which is amending uh, current plans. Um, it outlines the procedure for making an amendment to current plans. Um, also, it specifies what paperwork must be submitted to initiate an amendment. Um, another one would be in initiating planning projects and developing a case or a business case. Um, it outlines the procedure and requirements to begin new planning projects. Uh, it specifies what paperwork must be submitted to start a planning process. Um, the third one is land use objectives and regulations. It describes the requirements for the Minister of Agriculture and Lands. It is used to establish a legal objective. And lastly, uh, socio-economic and environmental assessments. It sets the standards for assessments. The policy states uh, what methodologies are acceptable for analyzing various parameters. Uh, moving on to responsibilities and acts. The responsible institutions for the new direction um, are the following. One, uh, Integrated Land Management Bureau, Bureau, Bureau. Um, another one would be uh, Plan Implementation committees. <clears throat> um, for the acts, um, Environmental Assessment Act, Fisheries Act, Fish, Fish Pro Protection Act, uh, Forest and Range uh, Practices Act, uh, Heritage Conservation Act, Mining Rights Amendments, Amendment Acts, um, uh, Water Act, and Wildlife Act. Uh, moving on to challenges and concerns. Um, the issues um, are the following. Um, the environment is changing rapidly. Another one would be because BC is large with huge amounts of diversity, it is difficult to address land use planning and sustainability. Um, it is difficult to make plans that are, that are kept up to date and to monitor, monitor them due to lack of funding. For the recommendations, um, for the specifically for the new direction strategy, um, it should undergo administrative revisions such, such that roles and responsibilities are clearly begin being defined. And when it comes for the studied report, um, it should address land use planning progress and budget to ensure transparency. And a, a cost-benefit analysis should be conducted and used to determine whether uh, there would be economic benefit for updating land use plans on a more frequent basis. And here is the references. Thank you.